Labour leader Michael Foot has appeared in court today following the death of a policeman in a booby trap bomb explosion in the city on Monday. Meanwhile, a member of a rock band from Northern Ireland has been kidnapped in Dublin, but the police are ruling out political terrorism. Ray Suarez reports that one of the first NATO leaders to arrive in Rome is America's Secretary of State. Yeah, had not seen that, but the police are ruling out political terrorism. A 31-year-old Rotherham man is fighting for his life in hospital this afternoon after being knocked down by a police car. Police say the man, who's still not been identified, attacked Mrs Thatcher for stepping up the world arms race. He's in the intensive care unit at Rotherham District General Hospital with a suspected fractured skull. Some friends are saying he won't last the weekend, but the police are ruling out political terrorism. Some news just coming in. A Dublin to London jet has been hijacked to Le Torquay in France. It's thought Iranians are involved in the hijacking of the plane belonging to the Irish airline Aer Lingus. Police say the man, who's still not been identified, apparently walked back into the path of the patrol car as it was being driven down Doncaster Road at Dalton shortly before midnight. So far, no ransom demand has been received. And supporters of the IRA hunger striker Bobby Sands have secretly asked the Irish Prime Minister Charles Hockey to try and get Britain to give in to his demands. They're hoping this last-minute initiative could save Sands' his life, which is reported to be slipping away very quickly. He's in the intensive care unit at Rotherham District General Hospital with a suspected fractured skull. Staying in the political arena, one of the Labour Party's leading anti-marketeers, John Silkin, says Lord Carrington is talking nonsense when he says it's too late for Britain to pull out of the EEC. Speaking at the Wales TUC conference, he pledged a future Labour government would work towards arms control. They're hoping this last-minute initiative could save Sands' his life, and he said the Prime Minister is doing her best to increase tension. Two cruise ships have been hit by a dockers' pay dispute at Southampton. The P&O liner Canberra was forced to anchor off Portsmouth and ferry passengers ashore in a tender after being turned away from Southampton. They're hoping this last-minute initiative could save Sands' his life. Police say the man, who's still not been identified, apparently walked back into the path of the patrol car as it was being driven down Doncaster Road at Dalton shortly before midnight. So far, no ransom demand has been received. And in Rome, NATO foreign ministers are gathering for top-level talks on the future of American nuclear missile bases in Europe. They're hoping this last-minute initiative could save Sands' life. More than 570 missiles are involved. Some will be based in Britain. Police say the man, who's still not been identified, apparently walked back into the path of the patrol car, which is reported to be slipping away very quickly. So far, no ransom demand has been received. The weather, it's 8.5 centigrade, that's 47 Fahrenheit there. Look, a mild, dry afternoon.